How you going guys, it's Lachlan Roberts here from Ride Act. I'm here with Kyle Perkins of the Camper Cavalry and he is gonna give me a lesson in baseball. I've never played baseball before, ever, I don't think. I've never picked up a bat before, so you're gonna teach me everything that needs to know, mate. Is that, is that gonna be easy for us? Oh, I'm hoping so. <laughs> I hope so, I hope you <laughs> kick it up. Okay. Quickly. All righty. Uh, when, when did you first start playing baseball? When, when did you first pick up one of these? Um, so I first picked up a bat. I was actually playing softball okay. um, at the age of six. Yep. Um, and then through to the age of 10, I played okay. softball. And then slowly made the transition over to baseball. And from about 11 onwards, that was baseball. So what, you, it wasn't 24 when you first picked up one? Like just, just like me? No, no, no. no, 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 no. A bit, bit more experience? A few more years. Yeah, few just, more just years. a couple. Okay. <laughs> um, so let's just start with, like, what's, the, what's the proper grip? Yep. What, um, where do I go? So, with, so basically, we're, we're down on the end of the bat. Yep. Um, now, with a wood bat compared to metal, it, it changes a little bit. But most of the time, you want your label to stick straight up. Sure. Yeah. When, when you're swinging through the zone. Okay. But with your hands, you want somewhere between your door knocking knuckles and your third knuckle. So it's your second knuckles. Yep. Your third knuckle. Yep. Somewhere in between there is where you want your hands to be lined up. Sure. Um, without the traditional golf grip with locking fingers or anything like that, we just put the hand straight on the bat okay. and we just hold the bat nice and loose there. Okay. You don't want to be too stiff with your grip because yep. then that'll make you tense up through your swing. Yeah, and it hurts when you actually hit the, hit the down ball. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so show, show me. So we've got, keep it like that. Yep, yep, and then when you put it on your shoulder, your door knocking knuckles to your third knuckle. Yep. Oh, the other no, way. The other way. Yeah, yep. there you go, just okay. like that. Okay. And then that'll keep your barrel nice and parallel when okay. you're coming through the zone. There you go. Right. And so we don't want to stand on the plate. Yeah. This is where the pitcher's going to be throwing it. Mm -hmm. So generally um, my measure up is I'll place the bat on the inside corner and I want that to be fairly close to my knees. Okay. So just about right where you are now. Yep. Um, then from there we want a nice even wide stance. Yep. So nice and athletic. And then the bat is positioned high up towards your back shoulder. Just like that? Yep. So do you do, like any, do any squat? Uh, just a little bit, like okay. soft knees. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then bat always gets to this position here. Okay. Yeah, the most important thing is, is if you get turned like this, mm. where your knuckles are kind of overlapping, now when you go to swing, it's not a natural path. And you're, sure. Your hands okay. can't gotcha. work properly. Okay. So keeping those in keeps your elbows in, which means that we can now yeah. come down and through. Okay. The how, how, how important is it for a person to relax for their swing? Uh, very important. Yeah, so the most important um, so, thing there? Yeah, so the way, the way that we think about it is your hands aren't creating power, your body's creating power, and your hands are just a vessel that fly through the zone sure. afterwards. Yeah. So if your arms are nice and loose, that creates really good whip through the zone, and you can hit the ball through. Okay, alrighty. Well, how about you hit a few balls to start with? Show me how it's done. One, two. When that first one came to me, I was expecting to go a little bit faster, but my heart is racing. What, what, are some, what are some tips? Obviously, you look like you played a bit of cricket before. <laughs> yeah. um, your, your bat wanted to stay a little bit lower with the barrel than we normally would. Okay. So we would want the barrel to come even through the zone the whole way. So if we're going through a swing lightly, yep. Yep. It, would, it would be down through this path and then through and flat through. Okay. So right. we're, we're very flat in the way that we swing. We come down through and then we push up at the end. Okay. Whereas cricket gets a little bit more of a 45. Yeah. Yep. Um, even really yeah. flat bat. Yeah, yeah. Um, it just looked like you just wanted to go back into that habit. <laughs> yeah. in, play, play some of these. Yeah, yeah, instead of staying through the baseball. Yeah, okay. If the, ball, if the ball is dipping though, yep. is it just like you just time it to go a little bit, you still swing through? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So our swing doesn't change depending okay. on pitch or speed. Yeah. Um, our timing changes. So when we're getting ready to hit, yeah, um, we get ready a little bit earlier. Um, on, on a breaking ball compared to a fastball, um, fastball is your normal timing, and then if you get a breaking ball, you wait back a little bit longer yeah. and you try and hit the ball straight back up. Past yeah. The short side. Okay. Thanks for the masterclass today, mate. Thank you. I'll um, I'll go home and practice a few. I might have to buy a bat first unless I can yeah. take this, take this nah, you home. can take that one. Oh, thanks. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Appreciate it. No worries. Thanks for your time.